Hello guys, welcome to my exciting tutorial. This is the first series of tutorials on my channel and we are gonna make a lovely Siamese cat hair. The reason why I chose the cat is making cute stuff is the right thing to do as a human being. Besides, Siamese cat has such distinguishable features in her face. So, let's get started. This series consists of three parts. The first one is for planning. We will analyze the object, make concept sketch, simplify it, and colorize it. The second is setting up. We will make proper elements on after effects, make the structure, and skinning them for the next stage. And the last one is for the most exciting part, animating. Okay, let's start. Siamese cat has a triangular face, pointy ears, and blue eyes, and point coloration. Just make a really rough sketch for now. Yes, we are done here. You can say this is a simplified version from the picture. Let's go a bit further. Use a few lines and make everything clearer. Yes, great. Forget about the flower just for now. We can sort out later. Move on to the coloring stage. The same rule is applied here as well. Simply is the best. Use as few colors as possible. Because everything is visual information. Complexity of shape number of colors, and even motion. The more complex, it's the harder it is to be imprinted on its audience. So in this stage, I decided to use five different colors. The basic base, dark brown point, blue eyes, black pupils, nose, and mouth, and the white background. Rough coloring is done, but as you can see, everything is messy. The shape is rough and there are too many colors, so I'm gonna simplify it one more time with vector path. And for the sake of making everything simple, we've gotta make everything symmetrical. So I'm gonna show how I make symmetrical path. Firstly, we should align our object to the center of the canvas. Select every point and hold down Alt and Shift and then press the left arrow key. And flipping it. Place it in correct place and for now, two paths are disconnected. So you'd better connect it. Now we made a nice symmetrical path. Don't use too many points, it makes the shape messy. And let's finish all the parts. Making an ear and duplicate it. Making the point color and do the same thing as we did just a minute ago. And making point color for ears. Don't be obsessed too much about detail for now, because we'll make it again on After Effect. Making an eye and a pupil. Use an eye layer as a clipping mask for a pupil. And duplicate it. Making nose and mouth. For the mouth, use a stroke instead of mask for its consistency of thickness. It's almost done, but I'm not happy with her face. The upper part of the face should be more rounded. For now, it's not clear. It's somewhere between circular and rectangular. It's bothering me a lot. And the dark point area in the face isn't clear either. Let's polish it a bit more. Adjusting the upper part a bit more, the conjunction part of ears and cheeks could be more simple like this. It's so much better and change the dark part. The difference here is unnecessary. Okay, nice. In terms of color, 7 is too many. So I assume that if we can use the same color for background as the base color of the face and make the pupils black, then we can reduce two colors. Okay, let's try it. Hmm, how do you feel? It's not that bad, isn't it? We can still recognize its shape of the face through the dark area and the ears. We can call the space between graphics the white space. And using this kind of blank but not empty space is one of the most important principles in typography or layout design. I'll make the videos about principles from traditional graphic design which you can apply to any kind of creations. Okay, we are finally here. 
I successfully made her pretty and lovely face. And one last thing, the flower. Let's just do a really quick painting. We are going to make it properly on After Effects later on. Yes, this is the concept image for the next stage. How do you feel about the process? It might be a bit fast for those of you who aren't familiar with Photoshop. But since the main purpose of this series is learning After Effects, I skipped a lot. If you want a tutorial video about Photoshop, just leave the comment. I'll make one. This video ends here. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>